Hey everybody, it's Kim here again, and welcome to the last video about layout and posing in Harmony. In this video, I'm particularly going to be looking at how to use the Harmony Premium Library, and how to take all of the elements that you've created in your layout, and create templates out of them in the library so that they're easily accessible by other people. Here I have the layout that I've already created. It's got a character movement, a camera movement, and a multi-plane happening with the environment. So what I want to do is I want to take each of these elements and create templates out of them in my Harmony library. So I'm just taking a look at all of my elements here in my node view. We don't have to worry about this animatic because it's already in the library in the storyboards folder. That doesn't need to go into a layout folder. So I'm just looking at my character, my background elements, and my camera. The character and the camera can easily be brought in as is into the library. The same goes for our foreground and our background of our environment layout. But instead of putting them in separately, I'd actually like to put them in together. Either way works. It depends on who you're working with and how they want it to be done. But in this case, I'm going to group these two together before bringing them into my library. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new composite for my environment. We do that by pressing Ctrl H or by copying and pasting the composite that already exists. I'm going to then attach my foreground and my background to this composite in my node view. You'll see that they disappear in my camera view. To bring them back, I'm just going to reconnect them to the main composite. Now in order to group them, I'm going to select both of these nodes with their pegs and the new composite that I've created. And I'm going to press Ctrl G on my keyboard. And now we've grouped our elements for the environment together into one group. This just keeps things neat. I can rename this group as well. I'm going to call this one environment. And that's all we really need to do before we bring our elements into our library. So I'm going to close up my node view and I'm going to start to prepare my library for these layout elements. So I'm going to open this up, open up my production. You could call this the name of the series that you're working on instead of just production. And here we've got backgrounds, characters, effects, props, and storyboards. I'm going to create a new layer inside of this production folder that's going to be called layout. If I right click on my production folder, you'll see that the option to make new folder is grayed out. That's because at the moment, our library is locked, which means that you cannot edit it in any way. This just prevents people from accidentally editing the library when they're working with it. All we have to do to give ourselves permission to edit this library is to right click on the folder and say right to modify. You'll see it closes up again, but when we open it, everything will be able to be edited. So now I'm going to right click again on my production folder and I'm going to say new folder. Your folder will close up again, but when you open it, you'll see a folder called new. If you do a fast double click on the name of this folder, you'll be able to rename it. Otherwise, you can right click and say rename folder. I'm going to call this folder layout. Now you can have as many folders as you like in as many folders as you like. And that's what I'm going to be creating with my layout over here. Because we want to make sure that all of our elements are easy to find for whoever is working with them. So we can't just slap all of the layout templates into the layout folder. It's going to be confusing. They won't know which episode it belongs to, which scene it belongs to. So within my layout folder, I'm going to create two more folders. The first folder is going to be the episode number or the name of the episode. So let's say that we're working with episode one, for instance. 
I'm going to call this episode one. Then within this folder, I'm going to create the scene folder. So I right click on the folder, say new folder. And this folder is going to be called scene five, for instance, if this was scene five that we were creating the layout for. And so it's in this folder that we're going to put all of our layout elements for this specific scene. You can do this by just grabbing the actual layer you want to template and dragging and dropping it into the empty space of scene 005. It'll immediately pop up with this rename option. I'm just going to call this camera. It's the only camera that needs to be in the scene, so there's no point in having to name it anything else. Then I have my environment. As you can see in my timeline, it's grouped up into its two separate pegs and drawings. So we can just make sure that this group is closed up on our timeline and drag it in as is. Again, we can leave it as environment because it is the only environment in this scene. And then lastly, I'm going to drag my character in. Make sure that his peg is closed up and just drag and drop. We can leave this as character layout, or you can call it something else. Character posing is another option. And now all of the templates needed for the scene are in their specific folder and easy to find for whoever needs to use it because they'll know to go to layout to the episode that they're working on and then to the scene that they're working on to be able to find all of the layout elements. Now I'm going to go to a new scene and show you guys how this works when you bring the elements in. Okay, here's our empty scene. I'm going to open up my Harmony library, open up my production, and then open up my layout folder with the episodes and scenes inside. In this case, you don't have to unlock anything because we're not editing the library, we're just bringing things in from the library, in which case nothing has to be unlocked. I'm going to bring in my environment, I select this, I drag it and I drop it in my scene. And as you can see, it automatically sets itself up. And it'll run for the duration of our scene as well. The next thing I'm going to bring in is my character posing. So again, I select it, drag it, and drop him into the scene. And there you can see him with his movements and his drawings. And then the last thing I'm going to bring in is the camera. Again, all we need to do is drag and drop it in the scene. And there you can see the camera movement working with the animation and the multiplane background and everything is exactly how we need it to be. So it's really just that easy. The person who's working with this scene will easily be able to bring everything in and have it animated and moving the way it needs to move. Another way of being able to access templates and libraries is to actually open a folder of elements from the library itself. So if I go to my Harmony library over here and I right click on it, you'll see that there are options to open libraries and close libraries. If I say open library, you'll see it brings up an option to open folders. I'm going to grab one of these folders. I'm going to say select. And there you'll see the folder pops up underneath my Harmony Premium library. And here I have my separate files within that library that I can access, but I can also access these character designs that were inside the folder. Likewise, you can right click and close this library if you no longer need it open. So that's just another way of accessing libraries in Toon Boom Harmony. And that's it. That's how you use the library in Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. 
I'll see you next time.